SJWs have an obsession with changing words, changing their meanings, and just using words in ways that renders words meaningless. They do this so they can manipulate language and then try to change the culture through making language their weapon. And I'm a writer, so this really bothers me when they do this. Words do have meaning. They have a purpose, and they were created for those purposes. Uh, when they do this, it really just destroys our culture even further. And of course, that's why we're here talking about this today. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author, award-winning comic creator. I've got a subscribe star where I'm putting up my comics, my novels, all of my work right now. And I would love for you to subscribe, support our efforts, because we're actually working to make our own stories that don't do this nonsense to change the culture. And it's imperative that we get people on here so that we can really have a wonderful, wonderful base by which to produce great content. All right. I do want to compete with Disney one day. We got to get it going. I appreciate you guys who have done so already. The big news of the day is Marvel confirms Valkyrie's special new title in the MCU. That's right. It's a special new title. And by special, well, you know what that means. Can I say that word anymore? It starts with an R. I don't know. I'm going to be careful with YouTube today, but we'll just go with special for now. Uh, we're allowed to say special for the time being. The cosmic branch of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is set for a stretch in the spotlight over the next few years. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, Valkyrie's made leaps since the fans. Blah, blah, blah. Here we are. All hail King Valkyrie. This is the special title. Now, Valkyrie is a woman, uh, much like Thor allegedly is a man. And they're doing this gender crap with this new movie uh, because now that the MCU has been so, so popularized that people are used to going and seeing these movies, they think that they can push these social agendas on everybody and people are still going to go see it because, well, you're used to these characters. You love these characters. You better go simp for us. That's what they think. That's, that's really what they're trying to do now. They don't care about making money anymore. They've made their profit off of Marvel. Uh, all of those movies are still making them profit today. And so they're using those brands to push this extremist, crazy social agenda where people are validating their mental illnesses through these movies and through these fantasy characters. It's interesting that they use fantasy to validate people's fantasy as it is. But as you see, they're actually putting different King Valkyrie into children's toys and all that, confusing children. I mean, think about this. They're, they're, you're a five-year-old. You, you don't know what a king or a queen is or whatever. You're five. You know, you think Santa Claus is real. And this sort of thing manipulates young children into believing that these fantasies are something real, that it's not something that will harm them, and it is something that will harm them. Valkyrie should be a queen if she's going to be a regal person. You know, there's a whole list of reasons that shouldn't happen in Marvel anyway, with the whole lineages and all that, but I won't go into the Asgardian <laughs> mythos. I know I know too much about it. I'm a nerd. It's all right. Uh, it... <laughs> Natalie Portman shouldn't be Thor. I mean, again, Thor is a man. All this is being done intentionally, and it's being pushed so hard in order to just make it so that the next generation is so malleable that kids don't know up from down, right from left, uh, what's real and what's not. Uh, and it's done to try to destroy their psyches so that they can be manipulated by uh, all of their agendas over time. It's really disgusting to think about. And this is so crazy to me, of course. There it is, King Valkyrie. Why in a, Nor <laughs> Why in a Nordic setting uh, do we have a, quote, King Valkyrie who's like this like dark-skinned lady? Any oh, gosh. There's too many things about this that are just so cringe. But I think King Valkyrie takes the cake out of all of them. I can't believe they're going with this can't believe they're pushing this far. It's absurd. It sounds stupid on every level, and it is stupid on every level. Uh, I really don't see how this movie's going to be a success. I think there is a point that Marvel pushes too far, and I think they're starting to finally get there. We saw what happened with Eternals. It was a big bomb because they pushed that agenda on everybody. Nobody wants to take their kids to see this sort of thing. And that is going to cost them in the long term. I really hope people are starting to fight back. I really hope that you, my dear viewer, will not simp for the brand, will not go see this. I'm not going to go see it. Uh, let's hold firm. Let's support new content. And let's just laugh at these people on the internet because they are mentally ill and they think they're brilliant. They really do. It's sad to watch, but this is what Marvel and Disney have come to. It's grooming. 
Make no mistake. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.